Hello everyone, my name is Javier Ortiz. And my name is Tiffany Hervas. And welcome to A I Drink, Drink and More. more. <laughs> Hello everyone. As mentioned before, uh, we are doing a show together. Uh, for those who don't know, this is my best friend, Tiffany Harvest. My best friend, Javier um, Ortiz. We've been friends for... Seven years? About six, seven years now, Something a long like time. Um, Feels like forever. And we always have a lot of deep conversations. And so I decided that it would be a great idea for us to do a show together to just basically talk you know, get more into those deep conversations and get deeper while drinking our favorite, you know, well, not really my favorite because, you know, I like to call it the truth, you know, the truth drink because wine always makes me tell the truth. So and wine really, is my favorite and oh. I, we both have a lot to say always. So why not just come up with the idea of like drinking and saying more? Exactly. And just talk about whatever we want to talk about. And today topic, I decided to pick it. Because okay. this is kind of what... And I'm know. super nervous because I don't even know what he's going to be saying. So we're just going to be going off each other. <laughs> uh, well, I did tell you that this, you know, this, basically this word is kind of like what inspires this show. Mm -hmm. um, and that word is, which you actually mentioned today, and we oh, actually yes. talked about it earlier today. <laughs> yes, I can. And that word is forgiveness. Okay. I had an idea that you were going to yeah, say Yeah, because but I remember when you mentioned that word, yeah. and I'm like, oh, crap, <laughs> how am I going to break it through? Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. But I feel like that word, like, you know, first of all, we both kind of have, like, hard, you know, hard time defining the word, I guess, I was supposed. Yeah, yeah I um, remember that conversation. Yeah, and, like, we both kind of, like, I was going through, like, a moment there about the specifically that word, so I feel like that kind of, you know, you mm -hmm. asked me about, you know, you asked me for a word. And I said forgiveness. Yeah. Because I was going through a whole process. So. so just giving people like a little disclaimer, like prelude to what this is, right? Like, um, so I'm a writer and I'm trying to inspire myself um, more every day. And so I'm asking like my friends, random people on the street, like just having random conversations um, and picking words. So I asked Javi one day, I was like, give me a word. What's my word of the day? Let me go. Let me write something. And he wrote, he told me forgiveness. I mean, that word is hard um, for everybody, but it was hard for me because, like, what comes up for me? And that's where I want to, like, come, wait. Before, I want to cheers to the word. Yeah, cheers for, um, the, for forgiveness, even though I still, to this day, I don't even know how I feel about of this it. Story, um, the start of this sh show. Yeah, basically. It's exciting. So, yeah, let's talk. Actually, yeah, cheers for the first episode ever. I'm looking forward to a lot more episodes, so, you salud, know, salud, yeah. so definitely give us suggestions about, like, future shows, you know, comments, phrases, words. And even wines to check out. Oh, so yeah, that's true. let's just pause for a hot moment and introduce Embarrado. We're drinking wine from Spain International today. Um, apparently, it's a medium sweet. It's actually quite delicious. We didn't even let it wow. air out too much. <laughs> Um, we just open it. Basically. Medium sweet, cranberry, um, strawberry, fruity. It's it's really nice, um, smooth. I'm enjoying it. So emparrado, tempranillo, medium sweet from Spain. Okay, here we go. All right, so now let's get in, really into the conversation. So okay, we already know the word is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So my question is, okay, how do we forgive? Like. Like, is there a process that we can take to forgive? Because I've been asking myself the same question. How do we forgive? You know, like, like I feel I feel like I'm, I've been having a hard, difficult time. Like, I can probably say, like, I forgive somebody. But it's like the situation I will never forget. And I feel like that's the part that's been haunting me. It's like, you know, how can you find closeness? And, you know, yes, you can tell somebody, forgive you, I forgive you. You know, that can mean a lot to someone. But how do you move on from the situation? How do you forgive that situation or like trying to move on from it? Um, I think when I think of the word forgiveness, it's more like not necessarily forgetting what happened. Um, and I don't think it's healthy either to intentionally try to forget or avoid things, places, people. Um, and even though we have memories of those people, those places and things, you know, those emotional attachments to things, um, forgiveness is all about you. It's like the reason you're forgiving is because 
who are you holding all that emotion for? Um, and it's not forgetting, it's embracing all those emotions, all that experience and everything that you've learned and turning that maybe negative experience into something positive, something productive and something creative that can help you move forward. And I think that's really only a question for you to answer and what that makes it reality for you. Um, because the opposite of forgiveness, I feel, would be regret. Like, mm. do you, would you regret that situation? Do you regret going through what you go through, went through? And maybe that's true, but... But then would you be the person that you are today if you didn't go through that? I, I totally agree with that. I definitely, so. <laughs> I, I definitely agree with that. But like, you know, let's say you move on from the situation and you forget and all that stuff. What if it's something you did? Mm-hmm. What if it's something that that person blamed you for something and it is hard for you to forgive yourself because of that or whatever situation or whatever thing you did mm-hmm. actually is what makes you you. So it's like, how do you forgive yourself for being yourself, even though being yourself kind of affected the situation or whatever situation it might have been, something you felt like it was the right thing to do. It was actually not really the right thing to do. Um, I think that's a hard question question because it feels like it's self-blame like you blame yourself for being true to yourself um and i i think it's also a part of like manipulation too because maybe it's the fact that you did do everything right with a good intention with a good heart and maybe that's exactly what you needed to do to be true to yourself Um, and the person is blaming you or trying to manipulate you to make it seem like it is your fault or like you are in the wrong Um, and that's not really the case so I think that's step one and number and number two maybe what you did really was wrong and maybe you thought it was right in that moment but it it, like reflecting back on it it wasn't you have clarity now hopefully Um, and I think it's about holding yourself accountable like like there's there's ways of moving on you can either be petty and live in regret and blame yourself and not grow from that or you can hold yourself accountable and that person accountable and say like no they were wrong to blame me or no i was wrong to do this okay i see it i can't take it back you can't go back you you just like can't stop living in the past type of thing and move on be productive learn from it just like you cannot live in the past and those emotions and that experience it happened for a reason reason mm-hmm. and, and it's like embracing it it you is just have yeah. to embrace it like for the good for the bad for the ugly and the beautiful you just have to live in it and feel present it's hard and it's hard I, to accept i feel like acceptance is like the hardest part of like of anyone I believe you know mm-hmm. accepting something especially when uh, what's the word like something that you really really was hoping for mm-hmm. you know or something you were looking for like you know you got yourself excited for it and it didn't happen mm-hmm. I guess expectations may have to do with that and you know and that's kind of like you know oh crap it didn't happen and so what now yeah yeah so it's, it can be like complicated but like what do you suggest for someone who may have been going through that situation someone who might be you know, someone may, you know, looking for forgiveness or someone is, you know, somebody came to them and asked for forgiveness. Like, how, what would you do in your personal situation? Let's say, you know, someone come to you and be like, I'm sorry. Like, you know, and they really hurt you. But like, they're really, really sorry. But like, you still don't want to deal with that. Do you, should you say apology? Just like, oh no, whatever, I apologize. You know, I feel sorry for you. Um, you know, that's okay, whatever you did, move on, or you, what do you do in that situation? Right, um, it seems like you're asking a few different questions, but um, but if I were in the position of where I needed to forgive, um, or if I weren't in the position and I was advising somebody to forgive, like I said, it's it's about not running away from the situation, not running away from that person, and not running away from yourself. Um, I think oftentimes um, we have difficulty confronting. I know we said the word earlier, confronting um, either the situation, either the person, or even our own feelings about it. And so we might be in our own denial. 
that person might be in our own denial and we might not even want to acknowledge the situation happened like let's just forget it like i don't even want to think about it i don't even want to put myself back in that memory because it brings back too many emotions um and thinking that way hurts you because because during the day you're going to actively be telling yourself i'm not going to do it i'm not going to think about it or that person this and the other but at night you're torturing yourself because there's so much silence that you're just going to be reminding yourself playing it and replaying it all over again the best advice that i can give you to myself to anybody who's watching or who anybody who's asking me is to not run from it like if the person who's coming to you asks for forgiveness that is based on the situation that is based on the person how well you know the person and how much sure you're willing to be about that situation because you can take the petty lane and just be like nah you can go somewhere with your forgiveness because i'm i'm not the one um and again when you do take that road who are you holding that for who are you holding that anger for um don't run away from things face the reality of things oh yes face, face the, the reality. reality of things yes let's first stop right here yeah, yeah. <laughs> face the reality of things yeah oh god all right but yeah i feel like that was my i wanted to get more deeper into that you know um uh, that word because mm -hmm. i feel like that is a very it might have been like a very simple word to say forgiveness is only one word mm, yes but yes it is very hard to accomplish mm -hmm. do you know what you know whether you're trying to forgive somebody or someone is you know looking for your forgiveness or whatever situation is mm -hmm. it is a process of like and sometimes it could take like a day an hour it could take a whole 10 years people spend a whole lifetime trying to forgive or not realize that they need to forgive. Um, yeah, it's a whole process. It's hard. Um, I like the fact that you said, like, you know, it kind of has to do with yourself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's the biggest issue. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, having a self moment, thinking about the situation, and really trying to make the best out of the situation, of, mm -hmm. I guess. You know, uh, what do you learn from the situation? And maybe understanding it a little, breaking it down a little more, you know, in a in a positive way. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a great way to kind of like understand it. I feel like that's like another for another show, understanding situations. Because I feel like as human beings, we should always analyze everything. At yes. least I am. At least I do. I, I am. I know I analyze and overanalyze <laughs> more than I probably should. Um, but then there's a positive to that because look at us now, like look what we're creating together out of our own experiences, you know, because we overanalyze. Overanalyze and <laughs> here we are talking about everything else. I know, <laughs> we, we think very deeply. Um, regarding forgiveness, it's just like, um, it's, it's really not for the other person. The other, I feel like for the other person, their biggest step is to say like, I'm sorry. And your biggest step is to say, I forgive you. Um, and that in that conversation, that doesn't mean you're forgetting it either. Like the, the two way conversation is just like this happened and I'm sorry. And then the other person is just like, I know this happened. I forgive you. Um, you're not running away from that situation. Um, it's not about forgetting it. It's about being better people, being mature people and moving on and learning from it. Because people make mistakes, you know? Like, we're not perfect, and some of us act on impulse, some of us act on emotions, and like, the emotions get the best of us. And, um, you know, life is, life is hard enough. It is hard enough. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that is all for today. Uh, if you guys have any words, phrases, suggestions of anything you guys would like us to basically get more deeper into, um, you know, just leave a comment below, um, go on our, you know, my website, um, go follow us on social media. Yes, um, you have our stuff. Yeah, below. basically it's going to be right here, right above us. Um, below us. Oh God. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'm uh, looking forward for the next episode. Thank you so much for Yeah, and I look forward to our conversations. Definitely yeah, leave us words because we love to just rift off different topics and 
and think deeper, not just with ourselves, but with you too. What are you guys thinking? Yeah, you guys let feeling? us know what you guys want to us to talk about. And like she mentioned, give us our joint suggestions too. We love international, to national, local, local, wherever it is for you. Let us give try a suggestion it. or anything else, location that we can probably even go visit. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, whatever you guys want to, you know, we'll be on we're the here. We'll yeah. be here to listen to you guys <laughs> and cannot wait to catch up with you yeah. again. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. See you soon. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>